Hello and welcome back to Matrix Call. Today, uh, in this video, we will make a crossover setting, a three stone crossover setting, and we will do it uh, parametric. So let's start with the finger size, so no secret on that. Then I will start to place the stones, so I will go to the gems, gems and green rail, and I will place three stones here. So I will go to the count and I will go to two and three. All right, so these are the stones that we want to have a crossover setting. Okay, what we will do next? We will do the shank. So let's start with the profile placer. And I will use a squarish profile like this one. And I will just move it. Actually, I will put it into 0.25. And also I will do the mirror profile. So we have the bottom part. This is done. Um, what I will do next, now I want this uh, shank here to split and go up to here, because from there is where we will connect it to the, to the setting. So if I want to split it, if I want to split this profile, one trick that I can show you is this one. So I select this profile and what I will do is Control C, Control V. So what I'm doing now is just, again, you see, I'm uh, doing the same profile placer. So I'm getting the same uh, dimensions, everything the same. But what I will do now is I will go to edit the second one. I will go to the profile editor and what I will do with this profile editor is just split this curve because I want just half of this profile. All right. So to do that, I will select the add line from here to here. And what I will do now inside the profile editor, I have the trim. So it's asking me select cutting objects is this one. Enter and select curves to trim this one. So I get just half of the profile that we have had. All right. And now what I will do is I just select both of them and join. Let me just be sure. Yes. All right. And I validate. So now I have here the whole profile and also I have just half and it's following perfectly the profile that we have for the shank. All right, now we have the three stones. What probably we'll do is edit this one and add another one up to here. So as you can see, it's just following. If now, if I want to make it higher or whatever, I can do whatever I want to do here. So I will do something like this. Right. Okay. And now I will start to work with the stones. What I will do is from this one, I will get the gem guides. And from this one, I will also get the gem guides. But on this one, the ones at the side, we will choose this layout. And the same for this one. The reason I'm doing that is because now I have guides to place uh, more profiles. And here now there is a lot of options that we can use, but I will get this one. I will place a profile, tools, profile placer. I will rotate it 90 degrees. I will change it to a squarish one. Now, even I don't have this straight line here, uh, it's not important because I will do the sweep, so we will have a transition. And now what I will do is just one point three by one point three will be okay. So we want quite thick profile. All right, now that we have this profile on this gem guide, we still can move it. So 
we have a guide this is what is important and now we can place it whatever we want so if we want it here and if you want to just give it this direction that's okay the reason what I'm doing now this is because we can do the profile sweep so I go here profile sweep between this profile and this profile so we get this nice profile and the good thing is that we have control on this profile all right so I will keep this like that and then I will do a sweep with these two guys here all right we can keep it open or close it doesn't matter At the end of the day I will close everything and you know we have all the control because now I go, can go to the to this one so if I just click on it the tool already uh, opens up for me so I know where I need to go I can go to edit and if I think that it's too thick I can go like this and then again I can go to the profile sweep and I can smooth it out like that so I get a nice flow so we have this side and now what I have to do is we can do what we did before so I can go and try to find the or set the same di dimensions that I did for this profile but sometimes it's faster and convenient to do ctrl c ctrl v so now what I will get is another profile placer in the same place but what I can do is just go to edit and change the guide so this will be the one and now as you can see I get the same dimensions I will put that one here so what I'm looking all the time is to have different settings that I can go back to any of those and make as many changes as I want all right so I have this one here and now I will do the same the only thing that I need to do is just control V and I will place another one but now what I will say to this one is that I want this guide all right and I will move it here what I place it now is not very important because once I see the sweep then will be the right time okay so again we will play with the profile sweep between this one and this one I placed enter so edit and now if I go to the front view we got this if I go to the top now it's when it's the right time to place the profile in the right spot so I have totally the control on that let me go to the four views so I can also get the right angle from here okay from this view looks okay and what we'll probably will have to do is just go to this one and move this one okay so I'll go like this
all right so as you can see we have all the control and we still keep everything parametric so we can just bring it up okay very cool so now if i go back to perspective with what we have here i would say that the ring is almost done let me tell you why because now we just need to cap these three profiles here so you know that we have this tool that is also parametric as is the profile cap so i will pro cap this one i will do the same with this one And I will do the same with this one. All right. What is next is, let me go to this view. I will get this uh, sweep, this sweep, and this cap. And I will do a mirror multi. And what I will also do is just get this one with this and this and we'll do the same mirror there we go and now it's just a matter to fine-tune you see we have this profile here so what we can do is just edit there we go and what I will also will move is this one so we match it with the other one And there we go. Now the last step will be the sweep one between the two profiles at the bottom. This one. This one and this one. And the ring is done. So now what we have here is a ring parametric that if we want to change the if we want to change the finger size we can change it and everything recalculates automatically so now if I go back to number 6 everything recalculates and I have all the control to change any shape thickness anything so if I don't like this uh, curve here I just need to come to this profile here edit and then I can move it more to the center. So I'm getting this shape. All right, so I think that it's a pretty cool exercise to do with Matrix Hall. It gives you a lot of uh, options. You can change the stone shape, sorry, the, sto uh, the stone size. So it's something that it's, uh, it's good to, to have in mind when it's time to do this kind of uh, rings. So I hope you enjoy it and now you can do these kind of rings that are pretty popular. So thanks for watching.